So, today's video is about uh, maintaining the fire inside the yurt, especially in winter. Very important, because yeah, it's cold today, as you'll see. So, we're going to get in here and uh, make that fire work properly. Show you how. Man, let's look at this. Nice, huh? Take that out. It's hot. Let's see what time is it? Oops. 8:33. Sorry about that. 8:30. And uh, here, next to the dog, it's 87.8. 90. It's warm. Oh yeah, I got the tunes going. Let's look outside. Oh. See what temperature it is there. 32.7. It was raining. It was raining. But now it's snowing. It's cold. So. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's get back inside that yurt. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, doing hot stone this morning, 124.5 on that stone. This one over here, 111. Gotta use the 111. 111. Yeah, that's really nice. That's a really good temperature. Put that behind my neck. Yeah, okay, hold on. The, the dog is here, it's dark. I have the the yurt cover on so it darkens it down and uh, you gotta be careful because there's snakes and dogs sticks inside so if you have bare feet on you gotta be careful but you're always cleaning up always you have to be really careful with it all comes down to your firewood if it sparks and sparks come out and they land here on your carpet and then burn through and then yeah go through your floor but i have a dirt floor and so but the key of course is having dry wood that doesn't spark so i work hard at that yeah i had to pull my water off the deck there and put it on the stone because it's it's too hot. It's like 154 degrees is the water. Too hot to touch. Huh? Yeah, it's hot. Gotta cool. Let that cool down. Oh, what time is it? Oh, now it's 10:17. We've been working. I had to clean up. There was uh, wet firewood. I didn't do my chores. You know, I got. I didn't know it was going to snow, so I had to come down here and clean this up. I had, chopped this wood yesterday and it was I left it so oh man I gotta clean it up so it's it's kind of snowing now it's dark gray but doing work besides just hanging out taking care of myself inside but uh, doing that too so got them things done here back inside let's see in the stove top 305 306 316 cool down stove pipe 250 and then up oh, 156 at the black pipe and then at the at the uh, shield 198 next to that fabric so you got to be careful with stoves stoves these are beautiful but uh oh yeah they can be very dangerous they can be a dragon so totally respect your fire yeah these openings are perfect for an eight inch diameter uh dutch oven 
then inside the Dutch oven, you have food. But part of the relationship, relationship with fire is feed your fire actual food too, because it's a living being. Honor and respect the fire. So yeah, I actually take my own food. I bring a little food in here and I feed the fire just as an honor, respect, love, kindness. Also, um, tobacco, you know, I have the tobacco here. So I'll um, give a, an honor, a blessing. Yeah, and the smoke comes up. and Yeah, all the spirits and our ancestors. Very important part of fire. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? Another thing about these camping benches is with the cords. It's, this is a different day and it snowed. I forgot about it. But did you see my my other video about the camping furniture? I was listing the benefits of this rope. And the simple thing is you can carry this into the wood a ways. This is my demo, demo model. So it's it's a little banged up, but it's my demonstration and it's holding up really well so yeah you put this on your shoulder slide your hand through excuse me yeah like that and then, then you got still two hands free while you carry your your deck into the forest to your to your tent all these birds are happy today somebody's feeding the birds out in the snow but uh, yeah and that's i think all today man gonna have some food now finish the video uh hang out close up the shop so thanks for watching we'll catch you again all right